Hey, Captain Eddie Castle in a shop making shavings. Now let me tell you something. Almost every lathe I've run across has got a Morse taper insert in the head. It's right here. See, that is called a Morse taper. A Morse taper is a tapered, tapered shaft. Now, the beauty of this and how it works, you, the chuck on your drill press probably in you know, the Morse taper. The way it works is this bears on its long surface around all this. So you have all that surface area that binds together and easily pops back loose. All you have to do is hit it with a knockout rod from the back side and boop, out it comes. Pretty simple. Well, it could be simple, but you have to take care of it. Now let's talk about cleaning it. This should just be clean, not waxed, not oiled, not buff. Steel wool is coarse enough. Buff it off, clean the grime and grit off of it, and take care of it. If it hits the floor and you see a burr, the burr's got to go away, but carefully. Now, the other thing is this. You need this. I think I got this at Packard. I'll put the, the, the ID up in a minute. This is rubber, look. But it's got flutes on it, and they're a little bit sharp. You stick it in there, the lake does not run doing any of this, okay? It's off. I'd have to say, unplug it from a wall, or take the safeties out and all. Don't turn it on. You turn this around a couple of times, it doesn't take much. Then you pull it out and you find all the trash that's collected in there due to cyclonic action of drawing it through when you were turning. You didn't think I knew that, huh? All right, but you clean this out. Again, no oil, no grease, no wax, no wire. No wire brushes, no bottle brushes, no sandpaper, no. That's a fragile piece of equipment in there. If those lands don't line up with these lands, you could, number one, lose grip. Number two, get a burn and jam it. Then you gotta beat it out. You don't want that to happen. So clean it with one of these little rubber things and then just take care of it. Now I've had guys say, I'll put a cork in here and a cork in here. Okay, I just clean mine. I don't go through all that. If I thought I was getting stuff in there that was harder to clean, I figured out. Now, Morse taper. Drill chuck, sanding pad, drill bit, whatever you need. Buffing wheel. Yeah, Beal makes a good one that fits in there. All right. The other is pen mandrel. Pen mandrels almost all come Morse taper. You put them in there. Now what is this? This is called the draw bar. This fits in the back of the pen mandrel. All right, I slip it in here, put the draw bar through the back end, tighten it up, it pulls the mandrel back, no vibration, no harmonics, no chatter. Makes it nice and smooth. Here's another one for you. This is a collet chuck. Collet chuck. This is a 3 8 perfect for wine bottle stoppers for the cheap corks. Same thing. You put it in here, you put the draw bar in the back end, and then when you tighten up on a draw bar, this tightens up, you get almost 100% bearing on that dowel for smoother turning. No chatter, no breakage, no harmonics, and when you want to get it out, you just bink on the back with a piece of metal, and it pushes this out, loosens it up, you pull the cork out and put the next one in. All right. That's just a couple of gizmos that fit into your Morse taper. And because it's such a great piece of equipment, you need to take care of it. So get one of the cleaners, clean it out, put the WD-40 away, put the wax away, put the steel brushes and the bottle brushes and all that other, the gun cleaning brushes. No tips like that, okay gang? This is fragile. Treat it as such, and it will treat you really, really well when you're out there turning. I'm Captain Eddie Castle, and I'm going back to making some shavings. And oh yeah, I'm still relying on you to turn a freedom pen today because our troops are waiting on them. You take care now. Oh, wait, if you need me, this address right here. EddieCastleandTheCox.net. All the other stuff's going to follow behind. All right, roll it, boys. You don't think I got boys, huh?